everyone, I'm Heather Swain and welcome to 201 Video Update. This week we're coming to you from the Hohokus Inn and Tavern in Hohokus, who's hosting our second annual Restaurant Week kickoff party. We're very excited to get inside and talk to some of the restaurants that are participating, as well as the local charities and sponsors of our event. Let's get inside. Lori, this place looks great. I haven't been here in years and it looks so good and modern and hip. Can you tell us a little bit about the changes that have gone on? Sure. Um, we renovated through the summer of last year and um, our upscale uh, menu here at the Hocus Inn I think offers something for everyone. We also have an all-day menu which is a little bit more casual for those diners who want to come in here and just have a casual burger and fries or some ribs and wings. Um, we have just everything that we could you could possibly imagine. I'm here with Michael Ostros, the head chef for Regina Steakhouse in Teaneck. We're so happy to have you participating in Restaurant Week. Can you tell us some of the things we'll look forward to? Uh, I'm sure we're going to be looking forward for some uh, wonderful chefs creating wonderful dishes. Uh, so. Every you know whatever it is, come and try. So. Okay. Do you have a favorite? As the head chef, do you have a favorite? The porterhouse. For, for Regina Steakhouse, it's the porterhouse. Definitely. All right, so you heard it from the head chef. Try the porterhouse. Thank you so much for being here. So tell us about the excitement that this is stirring up in Rockland County. We love the fact that we were able to do this together and be a part of Restaurant Row, what we consider Restaurant Row in Japan, New York. And being that we're so close to the old Japan border in Bergen County, why not be a part of this week? here now for restaurant. And what kind of specials are you having at El Portico? Well, uh, the, the, the El Portico is an Italian restaurant and basically we concentrate in all the favorable Italian dishes. But we concentrate a lot in, a fi in, in fresh fish and veal, which is uh, one item that most of the restaurants don't carry anymore. Somewhat, not quite the old traditional Italian, but it's with a little bit more of a today's, uh, you know, today's cooking. So light, light, Fairs, light dishes, light sauces. And Bianca, what about you? What kind of things can we find at um, your restaurant? We're doing a little bit more of a continental European infusion. We're trying to focus more on the local produce, sustainable fishes, organic foods. You might find things like avocado and roasted beets mixed with some of our traditional Italian fare. So we're really trying to move more into an infusion type of food, but really staying local and trying to like give back to the local community. Well, thank you both so much. We're very excited to cross the border into Rockland. We'll be back to the party in a minute, but first, here's the news sponsored by Ben Zellbush. Actor and Park Ridge native James Gandolfini has entered the North Jersey restaurant business as part owner of the new Delmonico Steakhouse in Cedar Grove. The restaurant's primary owner is Bob Wong, who also owns Village Gourmet in Mignon and Rutherford, Tao in East Rutherford, and Tina Louise in Carlstadt. Delmonico, which opened last week, will feature a classic steakhouse menu featuring entrees ranging from $14 to $26 and steaks for two are priced under $50. The address is 505 Pompton Ave, Cedar Grove. Forbes.com this week named Alpine as the fourth highest real estate zip code in the nation. This exclusive Bergen community where the median home price is $3.8 million is popular with business tycoons and chart toppers in the music industry. There are only a few weeks left to vote for your favorite businesses, restaurants, and places to have fun in Bergen in our fifth annual Best of Bergen Readers Poll. Time is running out, so cast your vote today right here at 201.net. We'll be back to the party in a minute, but first, here's this week's trivia. Crooner Eddie Fisher, who died last week at 82, announced his engagement to actress and singer Debbie Reynolds at what famous Bergen attraction of yesteryear? The answer at the end of our show. So we're excited to have you as a participant this year. Can you tell us about some of the specials you'll be offering? Is there a must try on the menu? Uh, must try on the menu this week is the filet mignon with the andouille sausage in a uh, reduction of grape and uh, Chianti wine. Spectacular. And we always have a capellini special, which is a capellini pasta with a red tomato sauce and an array of seafood, lobster tail, shrimp, clams, and uh, scallops. Desserts, all the desserts are made by my bride. She's uh, the baker and she starts at 6 in the morning. We have fresh citrus cake, chocolate cake, tiramisu, uh, five different cheesecakes, apple cake, and carrot cake. And tartufo, I'm sure. Oh, we always have tartufo. Okay, tell, us a little bit about, tell us a little bit about your restaurant. I'm, I've been there for 12 years. It's a bring you own wine and I used to own another place before that, Cafe Italiano in Inglewood Cliffs. 
So it's safe to say this is an Italian restaurant. Italian, yes. Any Good specials? One. Any specials we're going to be seeing for Restaurant Week? A lot of specials. We have we made a custom menu for them. As a matter of fact, is uh, he says that uh, going to be like three courses. I'm serving four courses. I'm giving one extra. Oh, okay. So I want him to be happy. Next up is Eileen Isaacs from Table to Table, one of the charities that 201 will be donating to. Can you tell us a little bit about Table to Table for those who don't know? Sure. Table to Table is this area's first and only fresh and perishable food rescue program. Every day we go out in refrigerated trucks and pick up food that's good to eat but cannot be sold from restaurants like this, supermarkets, catering facilities, and we deliver it to the numbers of hungry people who live right here in the area and uh, come Coming up next week, we have a luncheon uh, at uh, one of the beautiful homes in Englewood. Neiman Marcus is a sponsor, bringing loads of bags and great accessories. We have a wonderful guest speaker, Katherine Eisenman. And the beauty is, great afternoon, lots of fun, great food and wine, and uh, helping feed hungry people. Well, that sounds good, and I will see you there. One of our sponsors for 201 Restaurant Week. So nice to see you. Tell us a little bit about some of the new cars that are coming in. Um, coming up, we've got a new CLS coming out, which is going to be a four-wheel drive uh, uh, CLS, uh, a, a, a sedan coupe, which is kind of a unique designation. Um, we've got a new R-Class that was just released. Um, that is our six-passenger and seven-passenger vehicle, um, kind of a crossover. Um, so those are some of the new models that are coming out. Um, a big green push that's going to be taking place over the next couple of years. Um, also going to be a big part of our lineup. I'm here with Brad and Mike from Financial Principles, one of our sponsors of 201 Restaurant Week. Can you tell us a little bit about the services that you provide? We're an independent financial planning firm. We do retirement planning, college funding, uh, and we work with small business owners and the affluent in the North Jersey area. I'm here with the new food editor for the record, Susan Lee Sherrill, and our former food and entertainment editor. So and can you tell us how exciting it is for somebody who loves good food, loves to eat out, and knows so much about it for, to have Restaurant Week? Well, it, it gives me an opportunity, as much as it does everyone else, to try places that, believe it or not, I might not have tried before, because they're places that are on the list of 58 restaurants that I am dying to try. So I am going to take advantage of it, as well as encouraging everyone I know to do the same. Tell me about the new brands that have come into the store. This is from the Timepiece Collection, gorgeous Harry Winston. We've uh, just added a brand called Beauvais, which is uh, extremely high-end, very exclusive. Then we try to you know, appeal to the masses, too, at the end of the day, because if somebody doesn't want to spend $50,000 or more on a watch, we want to be able to accommodate anybody who is into watches. So Let's talk about my jewelry a little bit. All of my jewelry is from the Timepiece Collection. It's gorgeous. As you can see, it's for all ages. Um, these are Carrera earrings, right? Correct. And what are they, diamond and 18 karat? Uh, just another kind of like a small introductory to our brands of jewelry. Uh, although our store has been mainly watches, we want to bring in jewelry and uh, uh, the necklace is also from Carrera Carrera. So if you go to our website, you can click onto Carrera's website from there and you'll see the amazing stuff that they have and also what we carry in the store. On the shopping scene this week, on Tuesday, October 5th, Double Take Consignment Boutique opens its doors in Englewood. The new boutique will offer high-end designer clothing and accessories anywhere from 75 to 90% off retail prices. Double Take is located at 35 Nathaniel Place in the ShopRite Plaza. For more information, call 201-569-1112. Are wedding bells about to chime for a member of your family? Join 201 Bride Magazine at the 201 Ultimate Wedding Event on Sunday, October 17th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Ramapo College in Mawa. Enjoy a showcase of area's top wedding vendors, including planners, florists, photographers, reception halls, entertainment, and the latest trends in wedding products and services. Tickets are $10 for the bride and a guest, $5 for each additional guest. To register, visit 201bride.net. For more on the Bergen style scene, visit my exclusive blog, Heather on Style, right here at 201.net. Celebrating birthdays this week are Tomorrow, co-host of ABC TV's Live with Regis and Kelly and one-time Franklin Lakes resident Kelly Ripa turns 40. On October 4th, producer Russell Simmons, whose 35,000 square foot Saddle River mansion was featured on MTV's Cribs, turns 53. And on the 6th, Englewood native and 80s sitcom actress Ellen Travolta turns 70. 
And now for the answer to this week's trivia. Crooner Eddie Fisher announced his engagement to actress and singer Debbie Reynolds at what famous Bergen attraction of yesteryear? The answer? Cliffside Park's legendary Palisades Amusement Park is where singer Eddie Fisher proposed to musical comedy star Debbie Reynolds back in 1955. For more information and for a full list of participating restaurants, find it right here at 201.net. Until next week, I'm Heather Zwayne and thanks for watching. <laughs>